My name is Kuyan, Kalibu kwa FXB University Channel. In today's video, I will share the, one of the topic and is mostly requested by you guys and most of basic uh, concepts and so you have to know them come a trader. Why should you buy low and why should you buy high? Why should you buy low and why should you buy low? Doesn't depend come on when you trader, doesn't depend come when you investor when you uh, stocks market or when you crypto market. We are always buying low and buying high. So, what are the reasons why you should buy low and why you should buy high? This is one of the concepts in Ambazo around the world. Every trader has to apply them. As a kama wini beginner, you have to exactly know kwamba when should you buy low and when should you buy low and how do you find the low and why should you buy the high? Do you hear this concept on Twitter? Um, buy deep. What is buy deep? Buy deep ni nini? Buy deep this is the other concept I'm born to compare. You have to make sure you buy when something has depreciated and you want it to appreciate when you make a profit. Okay, so here's any concept I'm born to here in today's video. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the comment section, comment anything that you wish for me to explain. Kwaki channel, I love you guys, and always I love you to interact when you enter the section. Yeah, comments. I will be answering all of the comments guys. Make sure you comment, hit the like button so that we can engage. Now, let's dive to the uh, to our today's topic. Hapa nipo kwa trading view and mind you, kama hauna trading view account, make sure una nimekuachia link kwenye description. Uh, nenda ka sign up kwa kutumia my referral link. Hii ni referral link ambayo uki sign up leo utapewa dollar uh, salary sim for free just for you to sign up. Mimi hii ambao nime sign up ni premium That's why when you sign up kutumia my referral link Utapewa dollar salasin kama free Na utapata monthly, one month free kwa kutumia premium So mine is premium, one year premium Yeah, so Around my trading view Kabla sijaenda kwenye exactly topic ambao tutayongelea Na omba kwanza tupitie um, uh, What we discussed on the previous video Na kumbuka tuifanyi analysis ya, ya GBP JPY on, the, on buying After kafanyi analysis ya Euro, uh, Audi SP So, tunezo tuka review kwanza hizi pairs mbili Afu tutaingia kwenye kwa the hour today's topic okay? So, let's start with the GBP JPY Now, GBP JPY uh, This is the one of our analysis Ambo tulifanyi ya uh, away back you, I think you remember guys We'll find the analysis of EP And one of our conferences is buying And almost in the buy estimated 50 million billion sina sita And if you took action kwa hit trade wakati nafanya Wa wakati nime share kwa previous video kama ujiangalia nendo kai check You almost got a free money And kama utumia 0.01 manaki ulipata dollar shina tano Kama utumia uh, the mean loss 0.1 ulipata dola miambiri ya msenatisa kama ulitumia standard loss ulipata dola f na miata so it's really simple I'm giving you the free money if you follow my laws and also cause kwa sababu see your financial advice make sure when you you uh, you take your decision based on what you uh, you uh, actually unajua kumbo unakuna takanini ok so this is uh um, the what? The GBP JPY and GBP JPY to look at the to look easy lows, and we also had the other high. I'm going to look at and we also form the these bases. I'm going to look at the breakout, and this breakout is going to confess the moment market will go to test around this level, and then we got the push all way up. So this was the very nice setup on your restaurant now elect members by the way this is discord no one can enter can enter in here without my permission or oh, always can gear hook possible kuana um now what now kabla uja end log when ye our our cause so this was our dst do you remember this was our dst the moment when i find a heavy tooth category may fike Along this level and our entry was around there Ambo pia nirishia na nyini huko And the other one ilikuwa ni G, achana GU The other one was EJ, achana EJ This was GBP, JPY 
now i don't gbp jpy this is what i was showing you now let's see for out usd out usd yes now this is out usd you can see uh, out usd when you 80 hours let's see 80 hours this is how out usd was looking beautiful 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 look one uh, almost see a simple structure come like ahead and show the structure I'm about to depart a simple breakout around this level and this was our entry we gained a smited pipsi mia bere sherenya but kama ungeto mia 0.01 ni pipsi ni dola shina mbiri kama ungeto mia 0.1 dola mia bere sherenya kama ungeto mia standard lot zi ya uh, moja ungepata dola mia mbiri a uh, dola fumbili na mia mbiri really simple that's why i do say this is free 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 money so at the end of the video pia takupa one of the uh, my favorite analysis kwenye one of the you have you have pair pen one pair pen one your recent request so this was how do you see and on the previous video to leona to kona e high then to tegment to pata e low ambo most of time we likoni kama description phase ama a long ab was almost this was ab and to ka expect it to pata cd so CD and then it to put the other push all way up and boy liquid a bd iwe dc this was all our push up okay so this was our dust now so let's dive for our today's lesson and boy takwe now siana why should you buy low and why should you buy high in one of the concepts and by it outside yeah whenever keep on a trade the financial market Ntagusia kidogo na Wyckoff theory do Wyckoff theory ni one of the concepts ambazo zipo kwenye stock market me ni rejifunza kwenye ni vuko na jifunza mambo ya stocks so the one told me about the stock market i ni fundisha pia kusiana na Wyckoff theory in one of the concepts ambazo our technical analyst yambo tunawaita ni magulu walisha tengeneza hizi concepts and all that bra bra so his work of theory ni technical analysis approach ambo inamsaidia investor ama pia trader ku decide which stock to buy ama which currency if you're buying or uh, if you're buying or selling okay ni one of the theory ambo ina outline uh, key elements on the trend development that ya uh, are marked by the previous periods of accumulation and distribution ambo his zote zina four distinction phases ambo hizi four decision phases kuna hii accumulation phase kuna markup phase kuna distribution phase na the markdown hizi concepts zipo kwenye most of time what I'm gonna trade the stock market they do apply all this okay ambo kuna accumulation phase accumulation phase kwenye uh, kwenye trading market ni level ambo utakuja kupata some of the of the confluences not confluences kama confirmations kwamba market is likely to change the market direction kama ni downtrend tutakuja kupata uptrend hapo ndo naweza kupata different ka structures in this color head and shoulder ama double toes ama m pattern or ever okay upon a trade you wanna kuna tumia concept gani then the marker phase around the marker phase ndo what tunapata uh, different market structure patterns kama wana zita textbook textbook structures ambao hata okay upon anza ku trade leo ni one of the structures ambazo tanzia kabisa kuanza kuzisoma kama sui uh, frag uh, si, nini is pattern zote zinakuwa around this level and around the distribution so kuna features ambazo zinakuwa kwenye distribution phase na kwenye accumulation phase upande wa traders na upande wa wa stock market traders uh, stock market investors wana features zao ambao i will not share them kwa, kwa hii video kwa sababu inaweza ikawa too long ikakupa uvivu kuangalia but kwa distribution phase upande wa trading ni one of the features ama technical um, structures ambayo utaziona the moment market iko likely ku reverse the trend kwamba ilikuwa ni uptrend then to part a downtrend ambapo kwenye downtrend ndo tunaita ni markup kwa watu ambao wanatumia uh, different strategies kama Elliott wave ndo wanaita ab structure or whatever vitu kama hivi okay so this is one of the work of theory by the way ipo kwenye handbook ambao ni one of the concepts ambazo nimeshare kwa kwa elite calls though these videos that were added soon 
wenyewe uh, the elders cause natamani kujifunza forest trading uh, ufahamu wapi utaanzia join the elite community kupitia website yetu www.fsbuniversity unaweza kujifunza trading right in your phone and in your laptop all you need is internet connection ndio unaweza kujifunza na trading and when you join line now unapata extra 60 months of mentorship unakuwa nda eyes unaweza ku access community yetu unaweza ku access course yako right in your phone what are you waiting for join the community nimekuachia link down below join the fxb elite community along kwa hii concepts ambao itakuonyeshia kwenye huu mfano ambao uh, we literally itakuonyeshia pia kwenye exact example around the rajas now unaweza kaona hii kitu ambacho tuko nayo hapa tulikuwa na hii ambayo tunaita ni uptrend uh, ilikuwa ni kama downtrend this way And then the moment market irrevo approach along is level ambayo hii tunaita ni uh, the supply this uh, demand level and unaweza kaona market ilivu, price ilivo react to ika tukapata hii spike up which means market inaanza ku reject hii level and the moment market kianza ku reject certain level lazima tupate the other accumulation phase not the accumulation phase so uh, sorry the correction phase so he correction phase which means what ambao wanakuwa wame buy around this level ma which means they are wanakuwa wame uh, wanaanza kutoka either kwa ku take profits out manake hata momentum ya bias inaanza kupungua the moment market uh, momentum ya bias ikianza kupungua ndio tunaanza kuona tena the other push down ambayo hii push down inatakiwa kwa watu ambao wanakuwa wanajua wanajua ku scalp ama ku day trade wanaweza pia kazitumia ndio hii tunaita ni correction phase so the correction phase after attaining the correction phase which means tunakuja kupata tena the other push up he push up ndo tunaita the impulsive phase so we have the correction phase we also have the impulsive phase so the impulsive phase in our advantage watu ambao walikuwa wame miss he push here kwanza so which means uh, retracements in our retrace they are looking to buy now where do they buy mara nyingi huwa tuna buy kwenye level ambao tunaita row So when you hear someone saying buy row and sell high which means we are buying around the row and we are buying the row taking an example kwamba we buy when something has depreciated and you want to make a profit the moment market has appreciated appreciation which means kitu kimeshaongezeka thamani kwenye biashara ya kawaida ni kwamba unanunua kati bei ya kitu ipo down afu nakuja kumuuzia mteja wakati bei ya kitu ipo up that's the only way you wanna win kwenye forex market so buying low and selling high which means you buy when something has depreciated in value and you want to make a profit the moment flies itakapokuwa up the same applies kwa ukiepo nataka u sell ukiepo unataka u sell which means unataka u sell around the anataka usubiri the moment price ikifika kwenye hii level ambayo tunaita resistance level ama level ambayo tunaita ni the supply level along the supply level tukirefa kwenye wake of theory ndio level ambayo tunapata the distribution phase so around this distribution phase kwa sababu inakuwa ni uptrend market structure and always market structure the uptrend market structure inakuwa na tabia kutengeneza swing low and swing high wengine wanaita high high wengine wanaita low low whatever like and i do use the swing low and the swing high the same applies around the level the moment price ikifika kwa sababu ni level ambayo ni strong which means kabla price ku break the level market has to bounce more times kwamba the thing as yeah, kwamba highest then ku break up the moment market ki fail ku break which means napata a strong strong push ambao in a break hii level ambayo tunaita ni the support level ambayo previously ilikuwa ni kama resistance level so in a resistance na breakout ka support then main market ka break ikawa kama the uh, resistance level ku push down so he market e retracement ndo tunaita ni impulse and this one is what we call the corrective phase now the corrective phase which means the market is likely to rebounce around this level 
Now for sellers, sellers man ingi tunangalia ku sell the moment price ikishindwa ku break here for now has already created the what? The high. And I said buy low, sell high. Now when you sell around this level which means you are selling high. And the one who was buying around these levels, these levels, ni kwamba alikuwa na buy low. Ni one of the concepts ya baso, ukiepo una trade, you have to apply them. Though, his concept zote zina randana sana na concept zingine kama mtu wakia wana kwambia mambo ya market imbarance, ama demand and supply, ama tools ito for auto voting. Wengine hapa wanaanza kutumia tools kama robots kwa sababu wana kwa jui, hii correction itakuja kuishi hapi au itamuoneshia kitu gani mpaka yaingia trade hapo ndo traders tunaanza kugawanyika kwamba utajua ni saa ngapi wengine wanaanza kutumia indicators kama moving average borija bands si stochastic nyingine zina majina magumu sana wengine wanaanza kutumia robots mwingine wanaanza kutumia uh, signals kwa maana ya wezi kujua so has to use someone who knows then wengine wanaweza kujifunza kwa mfano kama mimi najua hivi vitu so for you to learn you have to learn from me kama ningekuwa na uza robots inabidi unikuuze kwa sababu ya ujui mimi na yani vitu kama hivyo hapa ndo traders huwa tunaanza kugawanyika kwa ajili ya kutambua kwamba ni mda gani ambao hiki tutakuja kuisha mimi ningie trade okay so is concept ambazo nimekuandishia na let's apply them kwenye uh, one of the pairs na one of the pair ni uh, e audiest ambayo last time tulikuwa tuko nayo so nitaanzia kwenye hizi early stage ambazo we reached new kwamba the market is gonna do this okay how market inaweza kufanya kitu chochote kile so let me uh, maybe pray kama nafanya kama replay sorry let me do this let me do this na naweza nikakati nikakuwa ni share what kwa mfano kwa mfano hii hapa na let's assume kwamba hii tulikuwa tujui nini kitaendelea tulikuwa tujui kabisa kwamba hiki kitatokea na tayari kwenye hii level ambayo tunaita ni the actual demand level ama price tayari sha reject and unaweza kaona exactly kwamba price ime reject kwa sababu tulikuwa na hii uh, is impasse and then is hapa ni kama correction then hapa ni impasse lakini hii impasse instead of making correction tukapata nini tukapata hii impasse mode so kwamba market ina reject hii level kwa nini ina reject hii level kwa sababu hii level sasa hivi ni strong okay so for you to know kwamba hii level tayari ni strong inabidi utafute where price itakuja ku rebounds manake hii correction kwa sababu start to share approach kwenye hii level ambayo previous ilikuwa ni kama unaweza kuona ilikuwa ni kama Uh, support level and then ka kama resistance level so it means unakuja kupata the strong push down need to put there the push up so kwenye hii correction move ndo tunaita ni a b so which means this is a b now you are expecting to have the other c d sasa e c d nitakia ujue itakuja kuishia wapi so sometimes takuta mtu ame uh, kama natumia swi indicators kama natumia moving average takuta na kuhamishia kwamba hey price itakuja ita bounce hapa afu baadaye tutakuja kupata nini tutakuja kupata the other push up mpaka level flani hivi vyote ambavyo unakuwa unafanya analysis so this what i was explaining kwenye the other concepts ya mambo ya wyckoff theory okay so this is why we buy raw and how we buy high if you want more elaboration make sure you enroll kwa elite course ambo nimeelekezea tu vitu in really simple na uh, through the practical examples na good enough ni kwamba unaweza pia uka engage na our trading platforms ambazo huwa pia tuna share na hizi concept zote uh, kwenye trades zote ambazo tunakuwa tume tumezingira now let's live kwenye the other uh, topic example ni kuhusiana na analysis kama weekly analysis vera So the weekly analysis nita kuonyeshia kuhusiana na DXY nita relate na the concepts kuhusiana na NFP what NFP did last time uh, kwa sababu this, 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 the last week tulikuwa na na NFP data report is the data report mara nyingi was na portray uh, watu ambao wameajiliwa kwenye uh, uchumi fulani na watu ambao wamekuwa employed 
wana portray strength ya currency upande wa US. Okay. Now hii ni DXY. DXY ni dollar index ambayo ina represent strength ya ya US dollar. Na ukishajua strength ya US dollar which means unaweza kujua strength ya ya pairs kwa mfano USCHF, EURCHF, GBP, CHF, GBP, USD na vitu kama hivyo. Okay. So DXY literally tu kwenye hard time frame ambayo ni kama daily mimi niko hapo naiona namna hii hapa maana yake tuliko hapo na hii kama downtrend or whatever tuliko hapo na uptrend market structure and literally market ilipoanza ku kufika hapo ikaanza kufanya hii skitu kama accumulation kama kama correction then tukapata hii spike move up and then ikategemea tupate correction then tupate the whole way up which means pia kwenye uh, data ambazo zilikuwa ni NFP zilivyokuwa released pia zika released kwa sheria kwamba uh, lazima USD itageni strength kwa sababu watu ambao wamekuwa employed ni watu wengi tukikompare na previous month which means circulation ya pesa mtaani ni kubwa na they have to raise interest rates ili kuhakikisha uh, uchumi unakuwa ni unakuwa poa so, So kwenye financial market ukijua ku relatives concepts inakuwa ni rice kwa sababu utakuwa na trade with the conferences. So with literally uh, going ahead what I can see kwenye uh, dollar index I can see kwamba hii market uh, dollar index atakuwa na gain strength maana the US dollar itakuwa ina gain strength kwa sababu tumesha form the other high ambao previously iliweza ku break the uh, the low and then tukatengeneza the other Low around this level I'm almost respecting so what we uh, we can see is literally market to push up down maybe hitting our first high around this level kwa sababu tayari hero right kwa shit up so what can we see i expect kwamba price may push up and even reach the high ambayo tulikuwa tayari tujafika watu ambao wanakuwa na trade trend price walikuwa shau na shafanya breakout and then nikama retest away move up. So this what I can see kwenye DXY and hii ndio itakuwa kama my feature analysis kwa uh, hii coming way kwa sababu ukishajua DXY which means unaweza kujua other major currency space bila ambao zitakuwa zina play out. Kwa over DXY kipo na gain strength which means USCHF ina kwa na gain strength maana yake itakuwa ina buy. Euro USD na Bitcoin ina sell. GBP USD na Bitcoin ina sell and all that kwa sababu ni DXY. So We literally ended around the kwa hipe. So make sure kama umeweza kuangalia mpaka uh, mwishoni, hakikisha una hit like button, comment anything, give me any uh, your thoughts and everything. Kama hii video ilikuwa ni powerful, make sure you share with the end of your friend. But I love you. Make sure you engage. Uh, I really like uh, how you engage guys kwa sababu inanimpa motivation kwa ajili ya kutengeneza the other future video. So thank you see you when you see me to the next video.